Hi guys, Morale King back at it again with another mukbang. Taco Bell and chicken wings never go wrong. So of course from Taco Bell, I got the nachos. I mean, come on, you cannot go wrong with nachos. The Cheesy Fiesta potatoes have become such a huge fan of these since it's like the closest thing to the fries you can get. <laughs> um, and then of course, some homemade fried chicken. These are so hot. I got this, um, what is this? This is the strawberry starburst something from Taco Bell, right? I've never had one, but it looks so good. I was like, I figured I would try it just for you all. And I even waited till now to taste it. As you can see, nothing in the straw. I have not tasted it yet. Oh, good lord. Whoa, hello, senses. How are you? Okay. Oh, not bad. <laughs> Tangy. And then, of course, for dessert, I got just two, two little Cinnabon Delights, because they only give you like two or five or two or ten, whatever the other option is, and that's crazy. So, without further ado, let's dig in. I even added beans to my potatoes, so I don't know how it's gonna be. I'm not disappointed at all. Not bad. It's like literally the closest thing to their fries that you can get. And then of course for the chicken, I will probably eat a piece for you all, but I'm not gonna eat all of these. <clears throat> because this is was this was dinner earlier. So I already had like a whole batch, <laughs> but they are so, they're crack, okay? They are crack. And this is my favorite um, barbecue sauce. I just got this. It's my first time ever trying it. And it's so good. It is so sweet. Sweet and fruity, just like it says. <clears throat> but it's different. It's different, like, you know, you're probably used to the regular barbecue sauce. This is like interesting, but it's so good. And then of course, hello, ranch, duh. Cause these are spicy chicken wings. I don't even care about those. I want these nachos. So I have been like pigging out like crazy. because um, I went to the doctor a few days ago and there's a problem with my lung. Go figure, heavy smoker here. Don't do it. Take a bite. Yum, 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 yum. Um, so they put me on steroids. Hell. Pure hell, being on steroids. some mild sauce. Um, I've never taken steroids before and I don't see how those fake mu muscle buffs do it. Um, I know people who like taking steroids just to take them and I don't see how they do it either because when I went there and you know they did the x-rays and all that and saw what the, th the problem was so they gave me a shot in the ass. <laughs> Hello. Instantly could not walk. I could not walk to my car. It was so bad. And then they gave me a prescription for more. And my entire body felt like I was having an anxiety attack, a panic attack, and a seizure. It's horrible. So... And the pain wasn't going away. And this is like for the, the pain that I had wrapping around. So I'm like, oh no, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. So I went to the hospital a day or two later. It was like 24, 30, it was like 36 hours later, something like that. Maybe it was two days later. It was. Um, I don't know. I don't even know my schedule. It's been horrible because 
the steroids keep you awake and the doctor warned me he goes you're going to get this shot and you're going to be up all night you're not going to sleep whatever blah 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 so then like of course that happened then i went and got the prescription and i started taking that so my sleep has been crazy i literally slept all day today which is why i'm up at like two o'clock in the morning doing a mukbang thank god for taco bell 4 a.m or later so i went to the hospital because everything else started hurting <laughs> and i'm like no so i went to the hospital and i told him what was going on and all that and it was in the same family so thankfully they didn't have to like do too much more because i went to the urgent care and then i went to the hospital but it's the same family it's the same company so they already had my stuff there So then they put me on different medicine and and that's medicine i'm more accustomed to because i've had it before because the hospital told me it's more like pleurisy which i've heard that term before i get it it's probably like my second time hearing it in terms of me because of i'm such a heavy smoker so they put me on different medicine and you know they said look if the steroids are messing you up that bad, stop taking them. I'm like, thank you. That's another thing that irritates me about doctors. I went to urgent care and they're like, um, it could be pneumonia or bronchitis, we'll check. Okay. They did an x-ray. Which, I mean, this is a completely different subject. I mean, Avi, he was like, you need to quit smoking, your lung is bad. Like, your lung is horrible. He was like, you know, if you keep it up, you're going to be like, you're like basically at the becoming stages or borderline COPD or emphysema. I'm like, oh my God. Okay. But then I go to the hospital and they say, no, just pleurisy. Pleurisy and um, I just said it, bronchitis. So it's like, You just hit me with like four things here. So is it COPD? Is it emphysema? Is it pleurisy? Or is it just bronchitis? And I've also been hit with bronchitis for like two years now. So I'm pretty sure if I'm not already, I'm very close to becoming a chronic bronchitis carrier. Whatever it is. Because I smoke so much. So basically my weekend has been hell. It has been so much hell. Because I've been hurting and I can't sleep, but I'm trying to sleep and I'm taking all this medicine that's making everything else hurt that shouldn't probably hurt at all. <laughs> it's just, it's been fun, not really. But it's okay. I knew it was coming. Consequences of being a smoker. I knew it was coming. And there's hope, I'm not marked for death. There's hope. So I slept all day today because it was like the first time I can get sleep. I guess because the, um, I don't know if they're still in my system, the, uh, the, the word I just forgot the word oh my god how embarrassing what the hell am I taking steroids oh my god duh I don't know if it's because they're finally leaving my body or like I don't know the window of how long they stay in but I did stop taking them I stopped taking them as soon as the doctor said I could I was like cool So I literally slept all day, all day long. I would sleep, wake up, eat, <laughs> go back to sleep, wake up, eat, go back to sleep. And it, it like, it felt amazing.
Usually I, can't, I don't do it. I can't stand it. I can't sleep, can't stand sleeping all day. I have to get up. I have to be productive. I have to do something. Well, technically yesterday though, I did not care. I did not care. Sunday was my sleep day and that's what I did. I slept and pig out, pigged out. And now, we're back to pigging out. That's another thing too, steroids make you eat. Girl, I mean like for real, I'm I was just like basically, I mean like I still look swollen a little bit. I'm just like a plumped up chicken. You know how they stuff them with hormones and steroids and all that? That's like basically me. Just the steroids, but basically me. So like, I have been pigging out. Not so much Sunday though, not so much Sunday because I slept so much. The only time I ate Sunday was, I guess when we had chicken. And let me not neglect the chicken. Since it's part of the mukbang, I will eat a piece. Take this little baby piece right here. Now, I do love the barbecue sauce, okay? I do love the barbecue sauce, uh, but not so much with this chicken. Excuse me. Um, I had it with the chicken earlier and it's good, but you know, it's like better with like regular chicken, but this is literally spicy chicken. So like hot sauce or ranch only, nothing else. Not even plain barbecue, like it just don't. Mm. It's so good. It looks dry, I know. It's cause I didn't heat it up. But it's okay, it's still good. So good. <laughs> I forgot the brand of it. Like, if I remember the brand, I would totally tell you all to try it or see if y'all have. It's like the best chicken I've ever had. <clears throat> Except for that hard part. Can I just say I love mook bombs? And this is like probably my fourth one, I think. My third or fourth one. But I love mook bombs. I watch so many mook bongers. I fell in love with a lot of YouTubers because they started with mook bonging. I just don't think I could do it full time. Because I'm already a bear, honey, okay? Like, it's bear season, and I'm in it, okay? This is not bad. But I wish I would've got the pink one instead, because I never had the pink one. And pink Starburst is my favorite. It does good though, because I've been craving something sweet, and let me tell you, you can taste the sugar for sure. Okay, so let me down, let me know in the comments below, would I be fired from mukbanging if I didn't finish all that chicken? Cause I'm trying to tell you, my main focus was Taco Bell. When I told, when I said I was gonna do a mukbang, I was like, all right, but I'm only gonna do it if I get Taco Bell. So like Taco Bell was my focus. I mean, look, like empty, okay? Potatoes, but I'm just gonna kill off these nachos, hit the Cinnabon Delights. You all can forgive me with the chicken, okay? I watched plenty of mukbangers not eat all their food. 
And this is my first time not eating all my food. So if you check out all my other mukbang videos, always smash it. And I would have smashed this chicken if I didn't have 20 pieces already earlier. <laughs> No! Party foul. I have to wash this thing again now. How annoying. It's really cool too. Because I got Taco Bell, right? Mine was like one something. So I ordered it online for the first time. Like through Taco Bell, you know, the app. This is the first time ever doing it. It worked. I picked my store location. But when I went there, they said they didn't have it. But I gave the dude my phone and showed him. And he was like, yeah, that's it. We just do it through, through the store. I'm like, cool. So, I mean, it did work. It just didn't work like it was supposed to. Because with the app, you you put in your order what you want, you pick your store, put in your information, put in your card number, and then it just pays. So then all you're supposed to do is go to the store, tell them your name through the drive through or in-store, and they'll do your order for you. But they couldn't find my order. But because I had it on my phone, hallelujah, it was just able to do that. So, I mean, it was no inconvenience. Bam. Should I let that bad boy clean? Because you know I will. Okay. I don't know how this is going to go with this, but we'll see. These are crack and they're cold, of course, but that's okay. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I should have got the 10. <laughs> I should have just went all out. Mm. Mm. Is that an explosion there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. That looks so wrong. Okay. I can't stand people who are so uptight they can't lick their fingers. Like, this is the best part. Okay. It's like sucking on a chicken wing bow. bone. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. It is to I killed that in like 18 minutes. I killed that food in 18 minutes. Bam. It would have been quicker if I weren't talking so much. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed the mukbang. If you did, be sure to let me know below. Hit that follow button, subscribe button for me. Follow button, subscribe, whichever. You will also see all my other social media links in the bio below. And I will see you all later.